lots of trials, lots of tribulations in the world, things going on, evil, wickedness abounds, and lots of questions surround all of those instances as to why God allowed all of this to happen. Well, he doesn't enjoy pain and our pain, does he, Pastor Robert? No, he certainly doesn't. God is love. The Bible says in 1 John 4, 8, God is love. That's who he is. It's not what he has, it's who he is. But of course, we have a lot of pain in the world. God didn't cause it. God gave the choice to Adam, who chose Satan over God. So, the Satan became the God of this world. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 4. So, blame it on the devil. Don't blame it on God. God doesn't enjoy seeing people suffer. But he does allow even his children to go through trials so they will learn to be like him, to grow in his righteous and holy character. Because when you have the character of love in you, you face difficulties, you come through those difficulties, you hang on to Jesus to go through the valley of the shadow of death. And he will bring you through whatever trial you may be facing right now. He doesn't enjoy seeing you suffer, but he does enjoy seeing you grow, become like him. And that is the purpose of life. We are God's children. We're called to become like him, like our Father. To be perfect and holy like our Father in heaven. No, God doesn't enjoy looking at people suffer. They have this idea that God the Father is this ogre in the Old Testament who just loved to smite people, just loved to just, see him, just obliterate them, like to see them suffer, kill the little babies, smash their heads in the, in the rock and say, oh, that's wonderful. No, that was actually Jesus. That was not the Father. That was Jesus. That's, if you don't know who Jesus is, you need to read the First Testament. He was a God of vengeance. Yes, when people went against him, he, had a, he protected his people. He, he allowed them to go into the promised land, and he did punish other people. But it was only temporary. He wants to bring all men into his love, into his kingdom, his family. And he has a plan to do that, a wonderful plan of love. He doesn't enjoy anybody, seeing anybody suffer. Jesus is love, the Father is love, they're the same God, the Holy Spirit, they're all love. They love to see us grow, and yes, they allow trials for us sometimes, but they're with us in the trial, they bring us through it if we look to them, and we come out on the other side better, better than we were before, more like our Father. No, God doesn't like to see us suffer.